hello everyone. As the title of the video says, welcome to my monster haul. Multiple orders, whole bunch of stuff was sent to me. Um, I've had some stuff sitting here for weeks and I've been, over the weekend, I've been doing like a major like cleaning and organizing everything and whatnot and it was like, uh, it was giving me anxiety because I like to show you guys everything I get and everyone likes these videos. I get so many comments about it and I was like, you know what, let's just do one big video so it's out of the way and I won't feel that like, oh, I can't use it until I show it in a haul video. I don't know. I've created this weird form of anxiety for myself, but anywho, anywho. Okay, so I got this amazing package in the mail from Loretta. I will link to her YouTube channel. This was way more than I was expecting and I'm just, I'm kind of blown away by it all. But first off, she has a really cute little um, post-it note holder. Super, super cute. And I always, I'm, I'm always using post-it notes, always. I use them to like write my supply list, etc. So I just, I thought this was adorable. And I don't know the name of this, if someone else can post, but I've seen these before. Does it actually say on here? Like, is it Rollabind? Roll is that what it is? But yeah, such a neat little thing. I just think that's so fun. So, there's that. And then, yeah, tons, tons upon tons of doodle bug goodies. I am like blown away. Um, yeah, okay. There was a whole bunch of pattern paper packs, which I've shown, like the pumpkin party, which I absolutely love. And I showed in a very recent haul video. And there was also the Christmas one, where did that one run off to? I might have already set that one aside to crack into, where did it go? It was here, there it is. The little Christmas town, same thing. So I showed these in depth in all the video. There's a couple in here that I, I already have, but then the whole point that she sent them to me, she's like, so you know, you could feel like you can cut into them. <laughs> which is true. So same with the So Much Pun, which is one of my favorites. I literally have those stamps and dies like sitting right off the side because I got the Simon Says stamp, like the stamp sets and the coordinating dies and the paper and all that stuff. Um, recently, they're sitting right there. So I'm going to be, I am going to be cutting into it. So we got that one. And then the, the really cute, um, the At The Zoo pack, which is, as always, super duper adorable. Like everything Doodlebug does, honestly. It's just, they make the cutest little characters, they make the cutest papers and their embellishments and everything, like super cute. And all of this is still available. I love like ones like that. You could just take that out and like frame that. That would look so cute, you know? But yeah, all of this is still available. So I will link to everything. So there's that one, there was the Dragon Tails, which I did a video on, I did cut into my Dragon Tails. This is another one of my favorites because this one, just the little Vikings and the dragons remind me of How to Train Your Dragon. If you haven't watched that movie, it is a, you know, a kid's movie, but How to Train Your Dragon and How to Train Your Dragon 2 are like such good little movies, I love them. And the third one comes out in February, I think. Yeah, there's a third one coming out and the, the trailer already, I'm like, I'm taking my kids to see that, it, I can't wait. <laughs> So yeah, really cute papers. Love it, love the theme, love the colors. Just, I love everything about these papers. I just think they're the cutest little things ever. Um, I'll get to that one in a second. It's Sweet Summer. There's this really cute, this is the floral graph. And I really like these ones that Doodlebug does. They're just, it's like basics, but in a Doodlebug way. So like little flowers, graph paper. So, really fun in all the great doodle bug like shades of colors and then some. So yeah, isn't that fun? Love that, love that. These are so nice. So there's that. And then there's the Sweet Summer Collection, which just feels funny right now because it's literally November. We've been getting a bit of snow lately. I wrote, this is one of my faves. I love that rainbow paper. But yeah, really bright, fun, happy colors. Like, just super cute, super cute. 
And then there's the mini icons. I actually did a video recently. I cut into my stickers for, I did the Halloween ones. So they have the mini, and there's two sheets in there. And then there's the odds and ends pack that has like all the fun die cut pieces. It's one of the, you know, contains 80 die cut pieces and they're all like the cutest little things ever. Seriously, like, hello, how adorable. This little drinks, this little umbrella. <laughs> See, yeah. I love me some Doodlebug. They just, the cutesy factor is absolutely insane. So there's those. There's a couple cute little, these adorable little, I love these little uh, Doodle Pops cardstock stickers. This is the uh, Toaster Time. <laughs> a little Pop-Tart popping out of it. Seriously. So cute. Okay, and then the, oh, like, the fun part too was she sent me this on, uh, down on the farm pack. I have meant to order this for quite some time now and the times I remember, this is one of the few Doodle Bug collections I don't already have, I end up like it ends up being sold out or whatever. So really cute, little, little pigs in the mud, little cows, like, oh, little bandanas, isn't that cute? So cute. Paisley, <laughs> denim pockets, like this stuff is just adorable, oh my gosh. So cute, so cute. So there's that, there's washi tape, there's cow print and this cute little um, bouncy ball washi tape, adorable little jelly clips. Those are super cute. There's the stickers with all the little characters, two sheets of that. There's the odds and ends pack with all of the little characters and everything in larger die cuts. Oh, so cute. So there's that. And then last but not least of all the Doodle goodies is this is the Daily Doodles Travel Planner in lots of dots. They have a bunch and I've seen them online. I've never seen them in real life. I, when you look at them online, I just, I was kind of just like, I, I didn't get it. This is definitely one of those things when you see it in person, it's like, oh wow, this is a lot more heavy duty than I expected it to be. And they have them in different like different collections and different color combos. So again, if I remember, I will link to the coordinating um, thing. So she included an extra planner because it comes with this one and then she didn't like to slip this one into it. And this one's really cute. I like the grid paper for it. Ooh, I like that. Yeah. So yeah, you've got your planner and it's like faux leather and it'll fit all kinds of fun things. And then it's got these so you can stick in. This one's plain paper. And then of course there was this one with the actual like days of the week. That's fun. I really like that. So you could stick this in there like so. Oh, this is fun. And then a little thing to hold your pen, put cards in here, slip something in here. This is really nice. So Laura, thank you so, so much. Like I said, I will have a link to her um, YouTube channel inside. So, there's one travel planner and one 24 page blank insert. And then you can get these, I, I've seen them. I've seen them online. You can get these little ones because like there's like this full leather with this but you can get these separately so if you check out I'll link to like the doodle bug selection at Simon's this time and you can see what I mean and there's like a plethora of options and color options and of course I like I like rainbow and polka dots <laughs> that's really fun so I got that and then I got um some more lawn fawn goodies so yeah, Simon had a really amazing sale on, so I included a couple like random things with my order when I had ordered some stuff. And then a few things that had been sold out and then restocked, like the Reveal Wheel Snowflake add-on and the Shooting Star add-on for the Reveal Wheel dies, which again, are sitting off to the side and I still haven't used them because, you know, Amy's got issues. So I got those. And then um, another couple like sort of random ones, but like I said, they were things were on sale and I took advantage of it. So I got this reverse, um, reverse stitch scallop circle windows. So I'll cut the scallop in the reverse. You'll have a window, but it'll have like a nice little stitch line around the perimeter too, which I really like. 
So you have the three sizes and then just an additional little heart just included. So love that. Got that. I also got the Shadow Box card theater, the theater add-on because that was also on sale. And again, I have the Shadow Box card. I had taken all the dies apart and got it ready to like go for a project. So I got the little theater add-on because I thought it was really cute with like these little curtains and everything. Like it's just adorable. So I got that. And then I got the little mini, um, oh, what fun with the little sled. <laughs> I'm like ready and said, oh, what fun. Merry Christmas. The coordinated little wafer die for it. It'll cut that out. So I got that one. I got the Merry Christmas line border wafer die. Then I got the Simply Winter Sentiments. Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays, Deck the Halls, and Happy New Year from our home to yours. With love from me to you, to you and yours, all of us. Cheers. Just a good, good basic little like Christmas and holiday set. So I got that one. Then I also got, this was the Say What. The Say What Christmas Critters, and it was just all packaged together, which I like because it just makes things easier. So you have the Say What Christmas Critters stamp set. You've got your cute little critters. <laughs> so cute. And then tons of sentiments. And they can like fit inside the little speech bubbles. You got a gift for you. Have a cool holiday. You're such a dear. Fa la la lama. Have a magical holiday. Merry Christmas. Da, 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 da. You know. And then a bunch of sentiments. So you've got the coordinating die set, which just cuts out the critters and then the speech bubbles. You know, basic die set. And then this one, which they're kind of intended to go with, which is the say what gift tags. <laughs> You've got your base gift tag with stitch and then there's one with a border so you could use that to create a shaker tag. There's a little piece that you could die cut to create a speech bubble, another little speech bubble, a reinforcer, um, a cute little stitch heart window. You could use that instead to create um, a little window. And then these little bits of hearts. I like these little hearts and stars dies. You can use those to create your shakers so those would look cute to make little embellishments for your cards. I like these. It's always funny, the most random little thing. I'm like, oh yes. <laughs> They're a really fun set. I love it. So I got that one. And then I also got, of course, the winter scripty sentiments. So we got Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays, Joyful Wishes, Seasons, Greetings, Let It Snow, Happy New Year, Warm Winter Wishes, Tis the Season, Happy Hanukkah. Really good. And then last but not least of that, I got the Holiday Helpers set. So we've got the little um, elves and the little Christmas box and all the little like gifts they're packing, you know. So we've got Santa Mail, North Pole, Nice List, um, Have a Very Merry Christmas, etc, etc, etc. Like all these, may you get everything you wish for, have yourself a Merry Little Christmas. So cute. Coordinating die set for all of these. So super, super duper cute and I love there's actually an extra little line die which I assume is so you can cut right along there. So you can insert little things. Oh, I love when new companies are doing stuff like that. Those just those little, that, that, that little extra, that little extra die or a little extra stamp that just gives it, bumps it up to the next level when you're creating. That just, love it. So I got those. I also got um, Lawn Fundamentals, Sparkle Cardstock in Pixie Dust. I don't know how well you can see the sparkle of this package. Let me You can kind of see it. It's really pretty. It's really pretty. So yeah, you get a whole pack of five sheets with this one. So I thought that would be really nice for like snow scenes, you know, cut snow drifts, etc. And then I also got this pack of the autumn cardstock. So you get five sheets, so I assume one of each color. Let's just open it right up. So, oh yes. How fun are those? Are those pretty? So pretty. And I'm assuming, yeah, because people always ask me that. These are very similar. Like my favorite is the Simon Says Stamp Glitter Paper. This will be another great one to get. Like that you can die cut this, cut it, whatever, and it doesn't it doesn't flake off. Like there are some brands that it just, you like touch it and the glitter is like flaking off. I've had those papers over the years. And this doesn't stink either. Neither does the Simon Says glitter cardstock. It, you know, that they smell just neutral. There's again, other brands that it's just, you open the package and it's like, oh God, it stinks so bad. So I got that. 
And then I also got the wood grain cardstock in neutrals, which is also one sheet of each color. So you get two of the white, oh, and it's like really wood grain. I think you can kind of see it there. So fun. So you get white, and then this craft, and then a gray and a black. Oh yeah. Or dark brown. I think it's a dark. That looks like, that's a dark brown. I really like that. Oh, that's so nice. I should have got like six packs of this. <laughs> Love that. Oh, that's so nice. Okay. Got that. I also got a pack, this Lawn Fawn um, textured white embossing powder. I'm assuming this, I got this with the idea of like using it for snow as well because yeah, just even in, before it's been heated, it looks like it's going to be textured. So just something fun. So I got all of that. And then what I've had sitting here for a while, I went nuts on the Concord and Ninth. Um, I think this was their September. Was this their September release or August? I don't even remember. Really? Oi. Anyway, I couldn't decide. I had it all sitting and then, yeah, I think Simon had a sale. I forget what was going on, but I got um, this gorgeous Deck the Halls Turnabout stamp set. So pretty. If you're not familiar with the Turnabouts, they're super, super easy to use. You just put the stamp on the back. And I've done videos and I'll do more, obviously. And then you mark on the back of the stamp an X and you have a little shim and you turn it in your stamp positioner and then you can, st so you stamp it once and then you turn it and stamp it again, and then again, and again, and it's all designed to create a full background. Ugh. I love their turnabout stamps. It, that, it was just ingenious. Like Concord Ninth comes out with some of the coolest stuff. And like I just said, I love how companies come up with these ideas and just innovative ways to do things and products and all this stuff. I love it. So yeah, their turnabout stamps are so much fun. And there's another one in here. So I got that one, and then I got this gorgeous snow flurry stamp set. The stamp is huge. Love that. And then there's like smaller ones, and then some sentiments. It's the most wonderful time of the year. Um, let it snow, all is calm. Um, what does this one say? Holiday cheer and a happy new year. Love. So there's that, and then there is a coordinating wafer die that you can use with this, or you could totally use this on its own. And then there's another die and just a solid snowflake die. I like how this one cuts out like all these little fun images. So you could die cut that from the center and give it, you know, kind of a window look. That would be really fun too. Really fun. So I got that. And then this really awesome sentiment set. This is the Very Merry sentiment set. Have yourself a merry little Christmas. May your merry be very. Uh, silent night, holy night, warm wishes, holly jolly. May the magic and wonder of the holly season stay with you throughout the coming year. Glad to have joy. Merry Christmas, blah, blah, blah. Like, I just, I like this mix of fonts. I love the size of it too. And this one. I'm really excited about this one. The Snowflakes Turnabout. Ah! It's the same idea. Like, it, it doesn't have to be a full square. It was designed again to stamp, and then you stamp it again, and you stamp it again, and you stamp it again, and you get this gorgeous snowflake background. And then I love more sentiments, snowflake kisses, holiday wishes, etc, etc, etc. There's a couple little filler ones as well that you can use, like, love. So there's that one, and then there was this Merry and Bright stamp set. May your season be merry and bright. Just really cute. And then there's also the big wafer die, the merry and bright wafer dies. Love. There's the holly jolly banner dies. There's the cozy Christmas dies. <laughs> Told you guys I went nuts. I like how this one has, this punches out the letters, like just little dots for the letters just to give texture, or you could totally stitch those depending on what you wanted to do. And you got the trees and little images. So these also go well with this one. So it's cozy Christmas stamp set. I just want to do backgrounds with this. Oh, love it. So yeah, cozy, oh joy, have, a, have yourself a um, cozy little Christmas. Uh, may love and joy come to you like and then enjoy so you can put those together I was wondering I was like what's that end I don't understand enjoy enjoy <laughs> love that grab those 
And then the really fun Happy Plaids stamp set. I have that plaid builder background that's amazing. You could add this to it or just use these and stamp it and create your own fun little plaids. I told you that this release was like so awesome. Happy Holidays label dies. So you have the Happy Holidays word. I like how they're separate. Like the, the dies just end. So you could use these that Holidays stamp set or like die cut separately. And you got a little pine cone and a little branch. Like yeah, little or pine needles. But that one, and then holiday cheer tags stamp set. Uh, special delivery from the North Pole. Best gift ever. Um, a little holiday treat, etc. Like, no peeking. Christmas calories don't count. So cute. So that goes with the holiday cheer tag dies. And I love you've got the tag, and then you've got this that will fold together that the tag can insert in. So you can decorate the outside. Like, hmm. So yeah. A little holiday cheer so you could cut this from the front of this and it'll be like a window to the inside of the tag like so well thought out I just love it like Concord 9th rock knocked it right out of the park with that release and then they came out with more of course I only got um, two things from it there was more of course that they released but I had to get these two for sure because like like things are piling up this is nuts um, I got the crafty turnabout stamp set because it's amazing. Another big turnabout stamp that you can rotate and stamp. And then all of these awesome, um, your kindness brings so much color to my life. Crafty friends are the best. Um, you have my stamp of approval. Um, love you we were and then there's the two step one this is supposed to be cut out so you can stamp with two different colors so we were cut out to be friends so cute and it goes with i highly recommend if you get this get the crafty dies to go with it you've got the pieces to create scissors and a little needle a stamp a paintbrush this cute little frame ah love <laughs> this is i'm like so overwhelmed it's in Insane. It is completely nuts. And like I said, I it's been piling up. I have got so much super duper fun things here, you guys. Like, boy. Um, before I get to the very last of it of stuff, like that I've actually been sitting here for quite some time. Um, I also got back to long time stuff. This was hiding under the other things. I got their embossing ink pen. Not 100% certain yet what I'm gonna do with it, but I was like, hmm, okay. And then I also did get the Lawn Fawn uh, glue tube. I've had a lot of people ask me what I think about it and I've never tried the Lawn Fawn glue. So I kind of have a feeling it's gonna be just as great as all the other, there's several brands now that do um, glue. Gina K has a great glue, Studio Cadia has a glue like this, Lawn Fawns, they're all, all three are amazing companies run by amazing people. Highly trust and endorse all of them, so whatever is easiest for you to get your hands on, I give it my two thumbs up. So that's that's my <laughs> my glue overview for the moment. Okay, so I got those and then I got this, just this one set from Pretty Pink Posh. I'd ordered this a while ago. I think this was also like July or August something when they released this, but it was the Cuddly Cats stamp set because yeah, we got the kids a cat. Um, not long after we moved here and I thought it'd be really cute to have, you know, these cute little cat themes down. So I was like, oh, it's just meant to be that these were released around the same time. So I had them sitting here. But yeah, I just think they're so cute. I love how there's like the mirror image of these two and they're just, yeah, you're my favorite and just so cute. And then there's cord coordinating wafer dies for this set. And I also got some of the new colors are the Pretty Pink Posh um, jewels. I got Blue Lagoon and Raspberry and Marigold and uh, Midnight Black, which is like, oh, they're so gorgeous. Love, love. So I got those. And then I got this um, Sunny Studio die set. This is the sliding window die set. Jennifer McGuire did a video couple months ago, whenever it was. Um, she had done that really awesome video using this die set and of course the die set sold out everywhere. <laughs> everywhere. And then I was on notifications and I waited till Simon got it back in stock and I was able to order it and then it's just been sitting here. But yeah, I loved how this made it so much easier to create that type of sliding card. 
because I've said this before, I don't do much for interactive cards and anything where I really have to stop and think and measure and do this and that in like 15, 30 steps, whatever. I'm just not gonna do it. But this, I was like, oh, you basically just die cut it and start, like, simple. So, I got that. This is so ridiculous. So much stuff. Like, this is not the norm, again. But, anyway, I'm getting it all done. I'll feel better once it's done and I can put things away and get back to crafting. Last but not least, the final set of Distress Oxides were released, which means all of the colors of Distress are now available in Oxide. So I, of course, pre-ordered the second Tim Holtz video went up and Simon got them in stock. I had my pre-order in right that second. I was waiting for these. I knew they were coming out because he had announced months ago that the last set would come out. I think it was supposed to be October. So. Yeah, when these showed up, I just, this was also why I wanted to film this video, because I was like, I can't get into these until they're here. But yeah, the final colors are out. So now there are 60 Distress Oxide colors, same with the 60 in the regular Distress Inks. Um, I get asked a lot, uh, which ones do I prefer or which ones do I recommend? These are the regular Distress Inks. It's apples to oranges, literally. They're completely different inks. I love both. I would never give up one for the other. It just kind of depends on the look I'm going for. Um, if you're still watching at this point and you're interested, I could I could do a comparison video just showing them what the, what's different between the regular Distress Ink and the Oxide Ink because other than the name of the color, they're so completely different. So. I love them. I'm so glad these were finally released because there have been a couple times just in the last couple weeks that I was reaching where like pumice stone. I was like, oh, I thought I had this one. I was looking for this one and I was looking for chip sapphire. Yeah, there's like these colors are just ones that I already know with the distress things that I've been reaching for. And then I was like, oh, I don't have these yet. So yeah, I'm gonna get these open and labeled and ready to go. I'm so excited. So yeah, that was my monster haul of like a couple months plus, more than a couple months um, in the making, plus that wonderful package that was sent to me, etc. Um, yeah, this, I'm, I'm feeling very overwhelmed and I'm just the one that filmed it. Okay, finally at the end of it. <laughs> Literally took a break after filming, did a live video, labeled all of my ink pads, which just FYI, I just do a little label and then I rub the ink onto some white cardstock, like scraps of white cardstock, and then I punch them out. I have this really crap, it's crappy, this little crappy recollections punch that I punch out. Because people see these a lot of times in my videos. There have been times I've lost little heart die cuts, etc. And um, they're like, oh, it was attached to your ink pad. And I was like, oh no, those, those are my little swatches. Just so that when they're all piled up, I mentioned this before in videos, but when I have them all stacked or in their, their like stored away, I can see not just only the name, but the color too, because more often than not, like, I just look by color and it's like, oh yeah, that's the one I want. So anyway, did all that. And if you are still watching at this point, um, I'm gonna do a giveaway. It'll be on my blog. I am giving away a $50 gift certificate to Simon Says Stamp. Um, this isn't sponsored in any way. This was purchased by me for one of you guys. Just a fun way to pay it forward, a little like, you know, early Christmas present, we'll call it. So the info on how to enter will be on my blog. That'll be the first description, like the first link in the description box will be to my blog post. And then we'll choose a random winner, etc. Like I said, stay tuned for giveaways, all that fun stuff. Um, links to everything will be in the description box below as well as on my blog. On my blog, there are actual picture links so it's easier to see everything. And yeah, just a way, a small way to say thank you to all of you that watch and thumbs up and subscribe and leave comments. I really love and appreciate the support. And um, like I said, stay tuned. There will be more and more coming as always. Thank you all so much for watching. I will catch you all very soon in the next video. Bye.